here now, Republican Congresswoman Nancy Mace of South Carolina, the first woman to graduate from the Citadel and whose classmates served and gave their lives to free the people of Afghanistan. Congresswoman, wonderful to see you. Um, I'm assuming you watched President Biden's comments this afternoon, as I did, and I wanted to first get your thoughts, your reaction to what he had to say and, and the way he approached this situation today. Well, I first want to start off by congratulating President Biden on a round trip ticket from Camp David to the White House, where he gave a speech, reading from a teleprompter for 15 minutes, a speech that somebody else wrote. And he promptly left the press conference to take no questions from any of the press, not even sympathetic press, and is now, now will be on a flight back to Camp David. Um, he didn't lay out a plan uh, for getting Americans home safely, for protecting our allies in Afghanistan, who also served with our soldiers over the last 20 years, whether those are translators and others. Um, you know, this is a man without a plan. It's like the lights are on, but nobody's home. And when you go to war, we ought to have a clear mission. We mm. ought to win resoundingly, and we ought to have a thought out and planned exit strategy. And he didn't. And, you know, one of the things that is, strikes me is that we have the intelligence to know what's going on on the ground there. It's not like the chaos that you're seeing, um, you know, happened in a vacuum. We were expecting this. And so he's been briefed on these issues, yet he still chose to go about it the way he did. Right. And he wanted to spend the majority of the press conference defending his decision to exit out of Afghanistan. I think the vast majority of Americans, we agree on that point. It's how we go about doing it. And he chose a time, in the, literally in the middle of the Afghan fighting season, we would have been better off, I believe, if we'd done it by May 1st. We would have avoided that and maybe given the hundreds of thousands of Afghan soldiers that we trained a fighting chance, literally. But instead, it was in the middle of fighting season. We've given away our equipment and munitions literally to terrorists mm. who took down Afghanistan in two days. We spent 20 years there. We spent a trillion dollars. We could have been more thoughtful about how we extracted ourselves and our allies. Instead, you know, we had helicopters lifting people off the rooftop of our embassy in Kabul. Right. And he did admit, he said, there's never a good time to withdraw forces. But it's, you know, that is true. Um, it's, it's how you do it, as you mentioned. And it doesn't really seem like it was organized. Um, but we look at the future of Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. we, we, you know, after 9-11, we went there. And to a certain degree, you could say um, it, it was a, a tough thing to take on. But we had to do it. In the 20 years that we were there, we probably prevented further terror attacks happening on our soil in this country. What do you think happens now? Well, we, you're right. You're exactly right. We needed to be there in the beginning after 9-11. Uh, the Taliban were harboring terrorists that contributed to 9-11 to and the attacks on the United States. I want to know that there is a plan to keep our soldiers, to get our American citizens out of Afghanistan. I want to know that we have, we actually have a plan to get them out of there. I also want to know that we can get some of our allies, translators and others, Afghani soldiers who were there for us and mm -hmm. their families, get them out of Afghanistan as well and know that they're safe. Um, we'll never, we're never going to know if, uh, if, if a different plan, a different strategy, listening to the intel community, listen, listening to our military leaders. Um, some of whom who were dishonest with the American people as far back as 2019. We know that there are reports out there that the situation was far worse than we could have ever imagined. But we're never going to know now because we, we fell in a day. Yeah. No, you're right. It's not just about getting Americans out safely. It's the civilians on the ground who banded with us and helped us while we were there mm -hmm. um, that now tragically have to face the Taliban. I, I can't even imagine it. Um, we appreciate your time, Congresswoman. Great to see you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you as always.